It's your boy MG Lil Bubba. And I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. It's kinda hard to sleep this mess. We're gonna party for this last way, taking no edits. Yeah, I just caught a body, gonna sweep up the stands, cause I'ma go sit. Alright, so we got MG Lil Bubba off the porch with us today, man. I'm right here, you heard me? <laughs> How you feeling today, bro? I'm feeling real good. I'm in the A, I just got in from Cali. You know what okay. I'm talking about? I'll be all over the place. There you go, man. What else you working on here in Atlanta during this trip, man? Man, I've been dropping a couple singles, you know what I'm saying? I got my boy D Mills here, Dre Cash, you know what I'm saying? He did an interview with you guys. Yep. So I've been just drop, working on a couple singles and shit. Project Young and I here too, we did a song and shit. We gotta do the visual, you know what I mean? But I just want a little shit, shopping and shit, bullshit. Okay, that's what's up, man. Yeah, we just had Project Young in on the porch too, man. I yeah. fuck with Young. Yep. So that's your 2021 starting off, man. It's starting out pretty good, you know what I mean? Been getting a lot of money. My mama been working with the food truck, you know what I mean? I bought her and shit, so we coming up with that. And shit, just been having fun, you mean? You know what I mean? Trying to live life. I've been seeing a lot of crazy shit in 20, so 21, <laughs> I'm trying to make sure I get it in. 22, 23, all that, you know what I mean? We're going up, for sure. Yeah. And talk to us about this food truck, man. You and your mom's got a food truck? Yeah, my mom got a food truck. It's called Amazing Cravings, you know what I mean? And it's really like uh, Jewel's Way. That's my granny, you mean, and she got cancer and shit like that. So mm. I ain't never seen my granny down or nothing. And, you know, we just did something to pick her up or whatever with cancer. And that's really my motivation, you know what I mean? Like just seeing my granny and shit. So me and my mom, we went in on the food truck and my mom, she can cook real good. So it's called Amazing Cravings. And if you ever in Houston, East Texas area, anywhere, you know what I mean? Tap in with a little bubble and you can get you some of that for sure, for sure. <laughs> What type of food she be cooking up? Oh, big ass burgers and uh, <laughs> <laughs> like quesadilla burgers and uh, barbecue uh, on that shit. Um, fried chicken wings, uh, fish, shrimp, just like the typical shit. Soul food on Sundays. Yeah. It's really live. It's really some crazy stuff, and it's really whatever you crave. And so, if whatever you want, you can get it. Okay, for sure. And you guys ran it up in six months, right? Ran it up. <laughs> <laughs> Read it up. <laughs> I got six figures I done made over a hundred. You heard me? God nah, for real. Damn, that's what's up, mm -hmm. man. Um, what was the initial investment on something like that? Uh, how much something like that cost that shit? Yeah. Like 15, 20 bands. It just depends on what type of truck you get and what type of connect you got. Okay. You know what I mean? But yeah, get your seg right. You definitely can get you one. Yeah. That's good money right there, man. Hell yeah. Can't complain with that, man. All right, so East Texas, man. What's, what, what goes down in East Texas, man? What's life like out there? Man, you know what? <clears throat> I'm not even going to lie to you. It really, a lot of people trying to make it out. That's really what goes down. You know, you either playing sports, you playing uh, football, basketball, you know, some people trapping. You know what I mean? We're doing all type of shit out there, and it's just like, it's a small town where I'm from, Palestine, Texas, you feel okay. me? So. It's really just a lot of people with big dreams, you know, trying to make it out. You know what I mean, that's really a typical shit. Yeah. How was your childhood growing up there? Oh uh, man, I grew up in a household of like uh, two brothers and two sisters, you know, and it's the struggle, you feel me? So like, I seen shit I wasn't supposed to see or whatever, and it's just like, like anywhere else, you know what I mean? You start seeing shit and you catch on to it and you get to it, you know what I mean? It's just, it is what it is, you know, but. Growing up in Palestine, man, I ain't gonna lie, that shit made me. That shit made me. Population of 18K That's and it. going into the big city and of Houston and running into people. And man, I ain't gonna lie, Houston either you getting money or you losing money. It's one <laughs> or the other. And when you first get out there, if you don't know nothing about the city, you feel me, they gonna get you. But man, I, I got a big old mind, so I caught on quick, real quick, or whatever. But I'm glad I grew up in esteem, you know, like Dre say, shit, you can be in the city and they're going to be moving fast, but you go to the country, they moving slow. So I was able to get up into the city and shit, you know what I mean, work at my own pace and get right after a period of time. But I was a little crashed though when I first got out there, you know what I mean? We all fuck up, you know, 17, 18 out there by yeah. myself. You know what I mean? You know how I go. A lot of trial and error, man. Figuring out what works, what doesn't work. A lot of trial, you know. And I uh, had went to welding school when uh when I first turned eighteen, you know, for like six months. 
uh, eight months type shit, and I was sleeping in my car. And I went from, you know, staying in my mom's house with a roof over my head, not the best roof, you know what I mean, but a good roof over my head, and went to straight to sleeping in my car and trying to get it for myself in Oklahoma. And I'm from Texas, so that shit was kind of real hard for me. And that was like a lot of motivation, you feel me? So shit, uh, oh shit, I ain't that bitch somewhere. But that was a lot of motivation for me anyway. But shit, yeah, that shit fucked me up sleeping in that car. And that shit made me go hard. And every time I do anything or anything, I think about that shit. And I'm not never going back. You feel me? So I put my head down and I got my team right. And I made sure I made it out for sure. Yeah. Salute to you for that, man. Nah, Overcoming that. Nah, I really shit. Appreciate that. Yeah. What was one of the biggest life lessons you had to learn in your life? Hey, the biggest life lesson is shit. If you want something done, you got to do that shit yourself. My boy Big Joseph taught me that shit, you know what I mean? I used to sleep on this couch in Huntsville and Sam Houston and shit. He taught me one thing, you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. I was driving an hour and 30 minutes just to clock in for eight hours a day and, you, and found out that that shit wasn't for me. So shit, I went independent and I started doing this shit my, for myself. Man, I'm loving the process, you feel me? I don't have a problem with signing no deal or anything, but I know one thing, if you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Real shit, uh, yeah. Real shit. How long you been making music now? Man, I started making music in high school, bullshitting, freestyling, getting high in the car with my partners. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Everybody started getting on that bitch. And then, like, we started recording that shit, like, on the phone. And, like, everybody, like, damn, but this boy Bub eating that hoe. Like, I started realizing, like, damn, I actually sound good on the mic. So, about 2015, 2016, I was still playing with it, bullshitting, broke, still trying to record. Man, you gotta get some money before you do this music shit. So, I was going back and forth to the studio, but I wasn't consistent. But about the last year or two, I've been getting my money right. So I've been going to the studio all night, five, six in the morning. We getting it in. So shit, taking it serious now and it's starting to show. Okay. We jumping off the poles with you. There we flying go. Flying off that bitch early. <laughs> 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 For real. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's your creative process like? Do you write or you just freestyle and punch in? Man, actually, my boy Dre Cash that did the interview with you guys, shit, he had stopped me from that writing shit. I was typing on my phone and shit, you know, just trying to go super hard. And he just started saying, man, put that shit natural, man. That shit go harder when you put that shit natural. So I, I started punching in. And I also heard the baby talking about he punching in and shit like that. So I tried the shit. Now I love it. I'm really living this shit, so it ain't hard, you know what I mean? Just get on that bitch and say whatever you live in, and that bitch jamming, they love it. A lot of people relate. So shit, that's what I'm doing. But okay. yeah, I be punching in. Yeah. Hell yeah. Who'd you grow up listening to? Wayne. Fuck with Wayne and Gates. Gates was on that trash shit. So I started liking Gates when I started getting older. But I really grew up jamming Wayne. That no ceilings. Oh okay. boy, he touched me with that bitch. Shout out Wayne. <laughs> Have you freestyling over those in instrumentals too, huh? Hell yeah. Boy, that, that was the one we freestyled to when we was in the car. You know what I'm talking about? Was like, that was the one. What's your thoughts on the rap game right now? I ain't gonna lie, me personally, I fuck with it. But it's like that new school shit, like. Like old school shit, I don't have no problem with that shit, you know what I mean? That's my mom and my dad, and they be jamming that shit. You cut that shit on, they can relate. You cut this new shit on, young boy and them, and all them, you know, Gates, everybody. I fuck with that shit, and I love that shit. That shit just get me out of my body. So shit, I fuck with that new school shit. I don't have no problem. Y'all niggas keep doing y'all thing. All y'all niggas jamming, you know what I'm talking about? I fuck with that shit. It's different. It's very different. And then, like they say, Thug came in. Not even saying too many words and change the game. So shit, it's, it's very possible. Shit, you just gotta jump in and adapt, you mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. I love it. Absolutely, man. So you just went to see Johnny, right? I went to see Johnny. Boy, I dropped that sack with Johnny. <laughs> I'm still seeing Johnny, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Hell yeah, I went permanent, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, shit, low key, I, I, I wish I would've thought about the shit. What I just got mean? some money, start getting a lot of money, you know what I'm saying, start party. I'm like, now I'm going flawless. I'm, man, what, I'm going flawless. You know, that's a Houston thing too, though. So, shit, I went and saw Johnny, and then I'm a little nigga too, though. So, I ain't got time to smoke nobody over no mouthpiece, you feel me, and shit like that. So, I was just like, man, I'm, I'm going to slug my shit out. I'm, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it, you feel me? So, I did that shit. I went permanent too, so I'm loving it too. Now, at first, I was like, ah. I'm loving it. I'm hating it. It's like a really. You know what I'm saying? What were you hating about it? I, I like um. I know really and truly to fuck your teeth up. It ain't no going back. Once you go, you know what I'm saying? 
you got to go over there. You feel me? A lot of people don't talk about that shit. Like mm-hmm. me, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? I'm solid, so shit. Nigga, that shit fuck your shit up. You know what I mean? Like shit, it is what it is. You know what I mean? But shit. I'm going veneers after this shit. Ain't gonna have me no looking fucked choice, up. Right? <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah, he hold shot in the dog, though. <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Can you tell us how much you spent? Yeah, shit, like 20. Okay. I was like 20 racks to get this shit. Yeah. Then, you know, you got to pay for that shit separate. Uh, with the dentist, they don't tell mm-hmm. you that part. So, they don't tell you that part. They just like get the grill. Yeah, like, all right, you know how do I get this, this shit? This shit like <laughs> shit cost per tooth. You know what I'm saying? So depending on how you went, I, I just did 16. So shit, uh, eight and eight. You know what I mean? But yeah, that shit cost. Yeah. Have you been wanting to do that for a while? I want to do it since I was a young nigga. That's really why I did it too. Like I've been wanting to do it. So. I shit, I just went and did it. You know what I mean? That's really what's something too. Like I ain't think it through. I just did it. But I fuck with it, but I don't. You know, like I said, I confused, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Well, no turning back now. No turning back. <laughs> ain't no turning back. I'm living life, man. I'm living life, dog. Yeah. I travel every week. I fly every week. I spent eighty thousand dollars on flights and still ain't went out the country. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like for real. Like I fly every week, so shit. It's some shit I need to do. I be living my life, dog. Yeah. What's the music scene like back at home right now? Everybody rapping. Everybody rapping. But shit, ain't nobody made it out. And that's the hard part about that shit. Like, you know what I mean? Shit, it's hard to get 100,000 views where I'm from. You feel me? So, just dropping shit, you know what I mean? Doing a lot of numbers on the first week or first day. That shit live. But like everybody rapping and shit, I should start a label and get them niggas right. You feel me? But if we getting in, it, sometimes it seems impossible. But shit, that's why I'm here. You know what I'm saying? The impossible is possible. So shit, I'm motivating a lot of them niggas too. Yeah. Do you get a lot of support in your city? Starting to now. Okay. First, they didn't understand it and shit. You know, everybody trying to get it for themselves and shit. But now I'm starting to get a lot way more support. Like, oh shit, this nigga doing it. So like now it's like, yeah, we're here, but I'm on in the bitch. So I'm love, I love the support shit. I need it. I need that shit. I don't have no problem with getting that shit. You know what I mean? I love it. I love support. I need that shit way more than I need money. I need support because <laughs> that support gonna bring money. You feel me? So I've been doing this shit. Yeah. And no support was the best support. That's what brought it. You feel me? For real. All right, what can you tell us about this new project, Escape the System 3? Escape the System 3, shit. I was working on that bitch, uh, traveling and coming back. Every time I get in Houston, I'm in there for probably like 24 hours, you know what I mean? I had a spot and shit, and I was just like, man, bro, I'm trying to escape the system. Like, I'm trying to get out this shit, like, you know what I mean? Don't nobody make it out from this shit, and no, everybody end up dying or going to jail, you feel me? And a lot of shit that I be doing and shit, so just like, you gotta escape the system. And uh, that's just really why I came up with that project and shit like that or whatever. Yeah. That bitch, that bitch going up, I dropped a, uh, a song, a feature with Lil Jeremy. I did a feature with Young and he on that bitch or whatever. And uh, me and Jeremy just dropped a single. Shout out Lil Zach too, dog. I'm fucking with Lil Zach, man. DJ. Zach Aru. <laughs> DJ Zach, yeah. yeah DJ people, Zach, man. you know what I'm talking about? Shout out that nigga, man. And uh, shout out Lil Jeremy, too. I'm fucking with that. Houston eating that bitch up. They loving it. Yeah. It's called Dior Walker, yeah. MG Lil Bubba. And the MG stands for money game with an M, not a gang. Money game. It's a money game. We all playing. You doing interviews. I'm rapping. You know what I'm talking about? My big dog whacking people. You <laughs> We doing it all. It's all a money game. You know, girls doing hair for it. You know what I mean? People cooking for it. Like my, my mama cooking for it. It's all a money game. Doctors do doctors, all type of shit. It's a money game. We all playing. So that's why I really just put the MG in front of my shit. Yeah. I feel that, man. Yeah, DR walking. What, what did it do? 20K in three days? 20K in three days, boy. Yeah. It did numbers, and that's a lot of numbers where I'm from, because shit, there ain't 20,000 people where I'm from, so shit, <laughs> I still put on for my city. I'm in the H, but hey, I'm putting on for the steam, you feel me? Yeah. For real. Did you expect that one to go up? Nah. Really? I didn't like the song. 
I ain't gonna even cap. I'm gonna be real, Jeremy bitch, you ugly. Look, I went to that bitch, hey, I look, I uh I really did the uh, song and shit. I got to the house, I was like, damn, I wanna fuck with this hoe. It's straight, they be dogging that hoe, but it ain't my type. Nigga, I let my partner hear that hoe. He was like, bro, y'all got you one. It was like, this shit right here. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit, that bitch dog that hoe. So I I was already feeling like that, but I didn't wanna just be too much on it, but I really wanna fuck with it at first, you know what I mean? I I ain't even uh record on it. When uh he dropped his verse and shit, I was just like, oh yeah, that how cool, like, you know what I mean? Like it was his style, more his style kind of right really more now when I style, he just really just grabbed that bitch. He can grab anything. So shit, that was hard. But then I went to the house, sat down, thought about that shit, went back to the yo the next day with my niggas and shit and just dialed that bitch. That how it went up. Yeah. I didn't expect it to though, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I find it funny. A lot of rappers say, man, I don't even like that song. But then it goes up. <laughs> it's like I the fans fuck with it, though. <laughs> I swear to God, that shit crazy. The fans going crazy to them comments and shit, man. Yeah. What was it like working with our Project Youngin? Young and hard. Young and humble. Mm-hmm. I fuck with Young, you know what I mean? He's still coming up, too, and shit, so. And then uh, we got, like, some of uh, the mutual friends, Shaquem and Shaquille Griffin and shit, so. Shout out them boys or whatever. So they linked us in. It was already, like, was just out partying and shit, turning up and went to the studio and dropped some shit. And it, it was alive though. He humbled in the bitch. He ain't on no that extra shit. Regular dude, chilling, you know, yeah. getting some money, you know what I mean? He did his grill too. He went somebody else though. His shit hitting hard too though. Mm-hmm. But hell yeah. All right, so who are some of the producers you work with on this project? Man, shout out Front Line. Shout out Front Line. I worked with June James from Houston too. He hard. He got a lot of plaques and shit. Mm-hmm. And, um, Rando, can't rush the vibe, Rando. German record him, that's German people. And uh, Salo, shout out Ty. It's a lot of people, you know what I mean? I work with a lot of producers and shit. I don't really mind working with new producers because everybody trying to come up. I'm still, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever, so as long as you cold. Now, if you get in there bullshitting, I'm going to tell you about yourself and I ain't coming back. We probably ain't going to never record again. But I be recording with a lot of people, you know, a lot of, but Frontline really my main dude. I'm asking for him every time I go to the studio. Okay. I'm on Front. That's what I want. That's on Frontline. Shout out Frontline. Do you know what video you plan to drop next? Yeah, Tiptoe. It's on the tape. Okay. It's number five on Escape the System 3. That bitch really hard, too. You know what I'm saying? It's really different. It ain't the same. It's different. It got all type of vibes on it. But yeah, I'm dropping Tiptoe and then Revenue. Revenue is really real. It's deep. You know what I mean? So, Revenue. But for sure, Tiptoe. Okay. Talk to us about the, you know, being an independent artist and the grind that comes with it, man. Man, this shit is hard. But I listen to a lot of Money Man. Okay. And I be jamming give Money me the Man. Game, man. Hey, Money Man, you know what? He gonna tell you how to go get some money. He gonna tell you how to do it. And he gonna tell you the right way to do it. You feel me? He gonna get you paid. And I jam a lot of Money Man, you know what I mean? We kind of relate a lot. So shit, I be jamming him or whatever. But, uh, what? Talk about what was the question again? <laughs> Being an independent artist. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> he went down a whole different path. Hey, bro, because like, I fuck with Buddy, man. Boy, that's a whole other story. But anyway, shit, uh, being an independent artist, man, that shit is it's hard. You know, you got to grind. You got to get it. But the baby showed us how to do it. You know, before he popped, you feel mm-hmm. me? So shit, and before he went and signed the deal, he showed us what the type of shit you got to do and shit. So you just got to really grind and put that work in. And I'm getting it in right now, so I'm loving it. You feel me? But at the same time, shit, that you can't beat that computer. You can't beat that machine. You feel me? So shit, being an independent artist, you don't got access to that machine. So you gotta grind until you get access. You feel me? And whatever. And the best way you can do it, shit, do it. So I'm loving it though. I'm getting it. Yeah. I'm running to them. They gonna respect me when they see me. Real Regardless soon. of shit, you like it or not, you gonna respect it. You know what I mean? For real. Yeah. What else you working on? What else is coming up for you for this new year? A lot of people telling me drop these singles and singles and singles. So I'm just working on a lot of singles and uh, working on another tape. Uh, it's called Vacation. I'm always on vacation, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm working too. So it's called Vacation and shit. Uh, that's re- that's really what's coming up next. Okay. Any shout outs uh, before we wrap it up? Man, shout out my dog, Big Joe. Shout out my dog, Mills. Drake Cab, Randall. Shit, uh, B.O. 
And my boy Berto, they all up in here with me. But shout out to my granny and my family, you know what I mean? And my mama, that's really, that's really much shit. That's what I'm doing it for. And my partners, they know who they is, the real one. All right, cool. That was good. All right, Shout out Dirty Glove Bastard. You heard me. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Appreciate that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to sleep this mess. Put a pocket for this last way, taking no extra shit. My nigga just caught a body, gonna sweep up the sticks. Nigga, I'ma go sit right next to him. Anybody just try 